So what I gotta do is choose the right spot. There we go. Oh! Is this the room? Let's try this. Wait, can I actually go through there or no? Doesn't matter. How do you... Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay. Whoops. So the trick with this one... Here, one sec. First, I'm going to get more. So the trick with this one is to get a lot. I think is how I, I did it. So what you want to do is build a wall like that, essentially. But you want to do it in a way that it's so massive that it becomes a majority of the uh, cubes, because the majority is what doesn't disappear. So before we start that, let's go from here. Go across. See? So now what I can do is right here. Yeah, right here will do. Let's see. Let's build a square around it. Oh, uh-oh. Gonna run out. Shoot. So you build a square around it, because then... that becomes the bigger part. There we go. A little bit bigger. Yields more. That might be enough. So it doesn't have to be huge. It has to be big enough. So now, see? Break that, it moves forwards, brings me up here. Some challenges exist just to test how much we know. Here we are. So this is really neat to me. I like that they put this in the game. So there's uh, the red gun and a blue block. There's a different design of the blue gun. Another design of the guns. All right? This is roughly the angle the gun should be when at rest. You can see ammo pretty nicely. Can't fit gun on screen nicely because the oval ring heaps of wasted space. The tiles orbit around a perfect circle. Makes gun nozzle a circle instead of weird shape it is now. Make this section of ring that the ring joins onto. Don't like the details sticking out. Right, so this is just different this is just different designs and their uh, their ideas going around, I'm pretty sure. This ring is really thin and looks silly. Bend it more around the sphere a bit, a bit more? Oh bend it around the sphere a bit more. This gun base sticks out heaps and is huge and chunky. Sad face. Ring looks small by comparison. And the ring is and the ring is the main feature. Sure is. This should be a uh, full ring. Not just underneath like this. It should be angled same as the gun. At rest. 
other screenshot needs more detail. So this is one of the designs here. I think that's the final one almost. Or is it the final one we're using? Yeah, that's the final one. Pretty sure, right there. And there's the ring on the inside that moves, I think. Yeah, that's the inside moving ring. There's the non-colored version of it. Anti-chamber, brick tool, gun base, level one, two, and three. So level one is no inner ring. Level two is the inner ring. Level three, I guess it has two rings or something? I don't know. Level four has, yeah, two rings, definitely. Rings rotating. Like this is, yeah, it should be intended to go over the shoulder or be held. And what I drew was level two, I was imagining over the shoulder for the balance with players holding two handles on the ring. Rings need to be inter to be connected to this and tiles slash beam fly through the rings. Like, so it's, sure, really, <laughs> pew. Hold on, angle by default, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. But it's actually really like, Cool how they show off thing right yeah. Oh color breakdown. Let's see what it says. Ha <laughs> intersect. Look at that, yeah. So color breakdown, these have line work around them, they're cut into the gun. Ideas only, not what I actually want. I we will go with whatever looks best. Finding the right balance is trial and error. Change model and try again try in game. I imagine the stripe strips around the inside and outside edge of the ring are what is providing the energy for the tiles to float around. I'll put in particle system so it looks like gravity, a gravity well or something. There's a little bit of sparks going on in the green there, if you look. A little wire running towards front of the gun could, I would imagine is also for energy flow through the gun or something. Before the player has the inner ring at level two, the intersection has a potential to be boring. Need detail for that. Bend of color around the inner ring. Out of the ring. So that's what it originally was supposed to look like, I think. Or that's it without color, sorry. That's level two without color. So that's level two with color, which is, look at that. And there's this one. Detail breakdown, again. We go with whatever works. Accentuate different segments of guns. Large flat surfaces on the gun look empty. Right? Like it's, just, it's, it's just like their design notes. But it's really cool. And there's the finished product, I think. Or one of them, at least. Alright, so that's room. Oop. There we are so far. I think... I think we should get the yellow gun right now. Or I'll go for it. And this time it is this way. Thank you. I'm afraid of no ghost. Okay. So I could do this, like I could do something like this and try to run in there. Just to show you, I'm going to try that, right? If, if you get it just right, you can actually go through areas pretty easily. In fact, I might be able to, I don't know if this will work. Or not, let's try it. Okay, once again, we're going to build a wall. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, then I'm just going to press escape and come right back here anyways. Ooh, I'm getting close to running out. I don't think it will work because it's a different color. Huh. 
Ah, <laughs> goddamn, it did work too. No, it's regenerating too fast. There we go. Just gather some of those. And I think I can fill this area here. Oh, I can't. Never mind. So I do need yellow for that. Wait, am I... Am I going for the green gun by accident? No. Because I need the green gun for this spot. So I'm going to get a bit more than I normally would for the yellow gun, for a good reason. I'll, I'll show it to you guys. I'll try to remember how to do the puzzle correctly so I don't waste too much time. Because that's kind of what I'm doing, but... So, I'm going to try to do the uh, actual, like, the puzzle where you stagger them, rather than just cut it straight, like, do the one where you just kind of, like, knock, knock, and then go through, right? So, I broke them off. So, this is going to be my starting point. So, this is the shortest one, and it needs the biggest delay then. So, what I'm going to do is go here, and go... One, two, I think it's three. Then like this. Then like that. So that one's three. This one is the second most messed up, so it has two. I think, yeah. So we're gonna go like that. One, two. All right. Whoops. I think I'm supposed to do it like this. And this one being the most messed up, needs one in that one. Yeah, three, two, one, and then nothing, I think. So then you go like this. And you just need to have a space of one. Now we're gonna connect them all for now. Run over here. And then I'm just gonna put this straight in. So now if I break this, so that's how you're supposed to do it. So now I have the yellow gun. Um, I feel like just getting the red gun right now, but at the same time, I don't think I will. So let's go back here though. For now I can do this. I should have showed off the things in that door. Damn it, I'm gonna go back there right now. One second. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I lose these, but I can also bring them. Oh, fudge. There we go. Got through. So now I can do this though. And 
I can actually just bring them all through here. Come on. Come on, little ones. I think this will work. Not 100%, but I got a few. Really, it just means I don't have to do this so much. There we go. Now this part should also be really easy because I can do this. <laughs> Honestly, having these guns breaks the game. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. With forethought, things are have a way of just working themselves out. So I got this gun, and I go forwards to so the exit. There we go. The further we explore, the more connected everything becomes. A little kind of direction can get obstacles out of your way. Middle mouse. So you gotta hold it. Oh yeah, so that's where I'm supposed to come out. So that's literally the tutorial spot right there. So I'm gonna pick up a few more of these. There we go. Problem may only be difficult when you're using missing the right tools. So now here's the thing: I've beaten the game with just. All right, different angles, different perceptive areas, and things like that. And now I'm back here. So this area is now. I can now do this spot. Um, let's see, yeah. And I'm going to do it with just one block to save up the rest of my blocks. My ammo, as they call it, I guess. And that's one. And that's two. Now I could do this, and you can actually cause like a cascading effect where you can get through, like that. Like I didn't do it at the right moment, but yeah, you can do that or you can just do this. So that room I was in earlier was one. Some articles are too stubborn to move others. This room is now two. See, so now I can go back into one, and two are now connected. So we'll take the only door into three. Man, come on. I can also go down that hallway now. Where the red blocks are. Let's do that quickly. Man, are you just gonna really, really? Is that enough? <laughs> so this one is difficult. This one, I can't shoot blocks into either of those. I actually have to.